and I love all of you. Did you know that the smallest mammal in the world doesn't weigh even two grams? And what about a frog that can fit on a coin? A dog that you can carry in your pocket? Or a tiny but very dangerous jellyfish? If these creatures are new to you, you'll be impressed. In this episode, I'll show you these and other smallest animals on the planet that are hard to believe exist. Let's go. Etruscan Shrew A couple of centuries ago, scientists thought that a mammal weighing less than 2.5 grams couldn't exist, as there were no conditions for normal metabolism in such a body. However, in 1822, they changed their opinion when a species of the Etruscan Shrew was discovered. It's a microscopic creature that's considered the smallest living mammal. However, some might dispute this title, but I'll talk more about that later. The Etruscan Shrew is about 1 to 1 1.5 inches in length, and the weight of the animal doesn't exceed 0.05 ounces. Indeed, it's amazing that this is a full-fledged mammal. This creature moves very quickly and sleeps only a couple hours a day. The Etruscan Shrew eats almost all the time. During the day, it absorbs food three to six times more than it weighs itself. This animal, somewhat resembling a mole, eats insects, small invertebrates, but sometimes it even eats frogs and lizards. By the way, the Etruscan Shrew is the case when we can say little pigeons can carry great messages because the species benefits forestry and agriculture by destroying insect pests. Kitty's Hognosed Bat And here's the main contender for the title of the smallest creature in the world of mammals. It's the kitty's hognosed bat that's often compared to the Etruscan shrew. Many believe that this animal is the smallest mammal, and even the Guinness Book of World Records agrees. This bat weighs slightly more than the Etruscan shrew, around 0.07 ounces, but it's shorter in length, 1.1 inches. This creature does not grow to 1.5 inches in length. Not without reason, this animal is sometimes called bumblebee bat because in terms of size, it's a real insect rather than a mammal. This tiny creature lives in Thailand and Myanmar. These bats spend days in the depths of small caves, and in the twilight, they fly out to hunt in groups of four to five. They hunt whatever they can eat, mostly insects similar in size to themselves. The smallest frog. Let's digress from mammals and move on to amphibians. Here, the Guinean microfrog, Pedofern omnesis is unrivaled. The species was only described in 2012, and no wonder. These frogs are more like insects and even make sounds like insects. Plus, they hide under the foliage, so they're not easy to find. You could say the scientists discovered the species by accident, and when they realized they'd stumbled upon microhylid frogs, they were shocked. They were no more than 0.3 inches long. The frog could easily fit on a coin. These tiny creatures live in the thick leaf litter of rainforests and feed on the tiniest insects. The tiny frogs themselves are eaten mostly by scorpions and a large number of local invertebrates. Interestingly, it's in Southeast Asia and Oceania that you can find quite a few tiny record-breaking animals. The next one is also from this region. It's from Indonesia. Meet Pytos cypris progenica. Simply put, it's the tiniest fish in the world. It may look like an embryo or a fry, but it's actually an adult, full-grown fish from the carp family. Larger carps would laugh at their Indonesian tiny relatives because they barely reach 0.3 inches in length. To maintain its tiny size, this microfish has shed many of the attributes of adult fish. Its torso is translucent, and its head skeleton is so small that it leaves the brain completely unprotected. In addition, females can carry only a few eggs, and the male reproductive organ is so small that it's capable of fertilizing each egg individually. Urukanji jellyfish The microfish from Indonesia is not only very small but also harmless. The same cannot be said about the next animal in this episode. The Urukanji jellyfish has a very beautiful name and a very elegant appearance. Only a small bell of about 0.7 inches wide and four thin tentacles a few millimeters long. However, sometimes the tentacles can grow to 3.2 feet long, but this isn't the main thing. The main thing is that even with such tiny size, the Urukanji jellyfish is incredibly dangerous. These Pacific jellyfish can boast of unusual venomousness because they belong to the class of insidious box jellyfish. Urukanji jellyfish are dangerous not only to sea creatures but also to humans. The Urukanji jellyfish bite causes the syndrome of the same name which manifests itself in a very unpleasant symptoms, from pain throughout the body, nausea, and tachycardia to pulmonary edema. 
The Urukanji jellyfish venom has the property of delayed action, so symptoms can manifest themselves within a few days. And people say size matters. Royal Antelope Antelopes are some of the most famous animals in Africa and some of the most unlucky ones because they're hunted by lions, eagles, hyenas, and so on. While the common antelope is a good dinner for an African predator, the royal antelope is more like sunflower seeds or chips. It's hard to even believe that this is a real antelope and not another animal. It's only 10 to 12 inches tall and weighs 3 to 7.7 .7 pounds. The calf of the royal antelope is so small that it could fit in the palm of an adult's hand. This species is found in the dense forests of West Africa from Sierra Leone to Ghana. Royal antelopes are cautious and vigilant and are mostly active at night. Predator could devour such a little creature in no time at all. It's funny that this species is called royal. <laughs> nice sarcasm. Brachysia nana Giant anacondas, Komodo dragons, and saltwater crocodiles are all truly enormous reptiles. In fact, they're so big that they wouldn't even notice if Brachysia nana, their antipode relative, got into their mouths. For that matter, this creature is difficult to notice in general because the species of chameleon is less than 1.1 inches in length. Scientists call this endemic of Madagascar the smallest reptile species in the world. By the way, this species is very new. It was discovered in 2021. At first, scientists couldn't even believe their eyes. They were so amazed by the tiny size that they doubted the maturity of the individuals found. Only a microcomputer tomography of the chameleons cleared up their doubts and presented the world with a truly unique animal. Antelopes and chameleons are cool, of course, but what about more familiar animals? For example, dogs. I don't think it's secret that the Chihuahua breed is very small. Such dogs can even be carried in purses. But even among such tiny ones, there are record breakers of their own. This is Miracle Millie, a Chihuahua from Puerto Rico who got into the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's smallest dog. She's 3.8 inches tall and weighs about 0.8 pounds. In the pictures, you can see how tiny the dog is. Even things like a sneaker, a ball, or a bottle seem big compared to her. And this is a full-grown adult. Her owner, Vanessa, says when Millie was just born, she could fit in a teaspoon and she had to be fed from a pipette. Because of her size, she couldn't eat the usual way herself. Vanessa is very fond of Millie and often takes pictures of her, but she admits that there are disadvantages to such a record breaker. Vanessa has to watch her feet all the time in order to not literally crush her pet, and on walks, Millie often gets lost, even in low grass. Western Pygmy Marmoset Let's return to the more exotic specimens. High up in the foliage of the tropical forests of South America, a tiny monkey lives. It hides inconspicuously behind tree trunks and branches like a chameleon and jumps like a squirrel. This is the Western Pygmy Marmoset, and it's the smallest monkey in the world. It's important to note that this is not the smallest primate. This title belongs to the mouse lemurs from Madagascar. The Western Pygmy Marmoset weighs just over 0.2 pounds and grows to about 6 inches in length. Huge gorillas and chimpanzees would have laughed at their tiny relative since the Western Pygmy Marmoset can easily fit in the hand of an adult. By the way, the monkey has a very long tail. As a rule, it's longer than its body. It's not tenacious but helps the little monkey to keep its balance when it jumps through trees in search of food, plants, fruit, and insects. In zoos, western pygmy marmosets also eat worms. Speaking of worms, take a look at this. It looks like an ordinary worm. That's good for fishing, doesn't it? But in fact, it's not a worm. It's a snake. Yeah, it's the Barbados thread snake from the island of Barbados. This species is less than 3.9 inches long, so it's not surprising that this snake has the appearance of a worm. But it's not a dangerous snake. However, it is dangerous only for its prey, termites and ant larvae. For humans, the snake is not dangerous. At most, the Barbados thread snake will pose for the camera lying on a coin. By the way, these reptiles have one more interesting feature apart from length. Because of the miniature size, the female lays only one egg, but a large one. The length of the hatchling is 1.9 inches, which is half the length of the mother. But for snakes of this size, this is normal. It's the law of nature. The smaller the snake, the larger the offspring. This strategy allows the babies to come into the world as prepared for life as possible. Scientists believe that if their body length were shorter, they simply wouldn't be able to find food of a suitable size. And finally, I'll talk a little bit about the animal you've probably been waiting for. It's the bee hummingbird, the smallest bird on the planet. I'm sure everybody knows about it, but as a rule, 
Many people's knowledge about hummingbirds is limited to the fact, but there are many interesting things to tell about the bee hummingbird. For example, they weigh only 0.07 ounces and are only 1.9 to 2.3 inches in length. Also, these birds have a frantic heart rhythm. The bee hummingbird's heart beats up to 500 times per minute. Not only is their heart fast, but also their wings. The bird flaps its wings more than 90 times a second. It's per second, not minute. I didn't miss say it. It has to flap its wings so quickly to hover over the flowers and drink the nectar. By the way, the bee hummingbird consumes about 0.07 to 0.08 ounces of nectar per day, which means that the bird eats as much as it weighs itself. Another interesting fact about hummingbirds is the ability to fly backwards. This is the only bird in the world which can do so. And the final fact about hummingbirds that many people don't know, these tiny beauties live only in Cuba. And that's all, guys. Which tiny creatures from this episode surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.